the sparrow and his four children. A sparrow had four young ones in a swallow's nest. When they were fledged, some naughty boys pulled out the nest, but fortunately all the birds got safely away in the high wind. Then the old bird was grieved that his sons had all gone out into the world. He had not first warned them of every kind of danger, and given them good instruction on how to deal with each. In the autumn a great many sparrows assembled together in a wheat field, and there the old bird met his four children again, and full of joy took them home with him. "'Ah, my dear sons, what pain I've been in about you all through the summer, because you got away in the wind without my teaching. Listen to my words, obey your father, and be well on your guard. Little birds have to encounter great dangers.' And then he asked the eldest where he had spent the summer, and how he had supported himself. I stayed in the gardens and looked for caterpillars and small worms, until the cherries got ripe. "'Ah, my son,' said the father, "'tidbits are not bad, but there is great risk about them. On that account take great care of yourself, and particularly when people are going about the gardens who carry long green poles, which are hollow inside, and have a little hole at the top.' "'Yes, father, but what if a little green leaf is stuck over the hole with wax?' said the son. "'Where have you seen that?' "'In a merchant's garden,' said the youngster. "'Oh, my son, merchant folks are quick folks,' said the father. "'If you have been among the children of the world, "'you have learned worldly shiftiness enough. "'Only see that you use it well, and do not be too confident.' "'After this he asked the next, "'Where have you passed your time?' "'At court,' said the son. "'Sparrows and silly little birds are of no use in that place.' There one finds much gold, velvet, silk, armour, harnesses, sparrow-wax, screech-owls and hen-harriers. Keep to the horse's stable where they winnow oats or thresh, and then fortune may give you your daily grain of corn in peace. Yes, father, said the son, but when the stable-boys make traps and fix their gins and snares in the straw, many a one is caught fast. Where have you seen that? said the old bird. At court, among the stable-boys. "'Oh, my son, court boys are bad boys. "'If you've been to court and among the lords, "'and have left no feathers there, "'you've learned a fair amount, "'and will know very well how to go about the world. "'But look around you and above you, "'for the wolves devour the wisest dogs.' "'The father examined the third also. "'Where did you seek your safety?' "'I have broken up tubs and ropes on the roads and highways, "'and sometimes met with a grain of corn or barley.' "'That is indeed dainty fare,' said the father, "'but be careful and look around, "'especially when you see anyone stooping "'and about to pick up a stone. "'There is not much time to stay then.' "'That is true,' said the son. "'But what if anyone should carry a bit of rock or ore "'ready beforehand in his breast or pocket?' "'Where have you seen that?' "'Among the mountaineers, dear father. "'When they go out, they generally take little bits of ore with them.' "'Mountain folks are working folks, and clever folks.' If you've been among mountain lads, you have seen and learned something. But when you go there, beware, for many a sparrow has been brought to a bad end by a mountain boy. At length the father came to the youngest son. You, my dear chirping nestling, were always the silliest and weakest. Stay with me. The world has many rough, wicked birds, which have crooked beaks and long claws, and lie in wait for poor little birds and swallow them. Keep with those of your own kind and pick up little spiders and caterpillars from the trees, or the house, and then you will live long in peace. My dear father, who feeds himself without injury to other people, fares well, and no sparrowhawk, eagle, or kite will hurt him, if he especially commits himself and his lawful food, evening and morning, faithfully to God, who is the creator and preserver of all forest and village birds, who likewise hear the cry and prayer of the young ravens, for no sparrow or wren ever falls to the ground except by his will. "'Where have you learned this?' The son answered, "'When the great blast of wind tore me away from you, I came to a church, and there during the summer I have picked up the flies and spiders from the windows, and heard this lesson preached. The father of all sparrows fed me all the summer through, and kept me from all mischance and from ferocious birds.' "'In truth, my dear son, if you take refuge in the churches, "'and help to clear away spiders and buzzing flies, "'and cry unto God like the young ravens, "'and commend yourself to the eternal Creator, "'all will be well with you.' 
even if the whole world were full of malicious birds. He who to God commits his ways, in silence suffers, waits, and prays, preserves his faith and conscience pure. He is of God's protection, sure. That was the sparrow and his four children. And uh, next time, oops. And uh, next time we'll be reading. Uh, let's take this one. Uh, the Court Cards by Hans Christian Andersen. <laughs>